Okay, um, I'm gonna share screens with you real quick. Alright. And do you mind if I upload this? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, I was just making sure. I mean, I, I ask everyone, so. Well, yeah. no one, actually only one person's told me not to, but whatever. Um, okay, you can see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dean, I've been getting a lot of people lately that, like, aren't junglers, but then, like, they just want to, like, learn jungle, which... In my opinion, like not very fun to that's, teach. well, it's not very fun to teach, and it's like it's not very productive. It's like it's easier for me to teach someone that already knows what they're doing. Yeah. Then like I'm not like a good like I don't know how much you like watch my stream, but like I'm not really good at like teaching the basics. You know what I mean? Like I'm way better yeah. at teaching yeah, someone who already knows what they're doing. Okay. I was about to say I was like holy shit, you've 130 hacker games this season, this season, but I just didn't yeah. click on this. I was I'm like, not what the that fuck? Much of a masochist, dude. <laughs> Okay, so you're playing a lot of Kane and Kha'Zix. Um, why aren't you playing like these champions that you seem to know really well? Uh, they kind of suck right now. Uh, Lee Sin is more like, I feel like I don't use him well in solo queue. Mm -hmm. Since, uh, I don't know, it feels like no one responds to the ganks that I do. Like, I'll, I'll set it up really well, yeah. and I'll inseg it properly or whatever, and then they just don't respond, and then I just die. I'm like, okay. Right. So y you just rather pick someone that can kind of do his own shit? Yeah, like, yeah, just keep up on their own. Not have to, like... <clears throat> like, it's mostly the gank setup thing. Right. Um, that, that kind of makes sense, but, like, you definitely... Like, 55% win rate, 120 games, definitely isn't that bad. Yeah. Like, I don't think Lee Sin's in a bad enough spot where if you're good at him, you shouldn't be playing him. You know what I mean? Because, okay. like, even if Lee Sin's, yeah. like, weak, you know, you notice that he's always played in Korea, right? Like, he always is. Yeah. And I'm not going to be that guy. I, I, yeah, I'm not going to be that guy to be like, oh, well, if it works in Korea, it should work in NA. Like, I'm not I'm not that guy. But if you really do enjoy playing Lee Sin, he's one of your favorite champions, just because he's necessarily weak right now doesn't mean you shouldn't play him. Like, Kane sucks fucking ass right now, dude. Like, he's <laughs> he's so... Really? Yeah, he's so bad right now, it's not even funny. Um, Because, like... He he's so bad that like he's one of the only junglers that if you blind pick you can actually just lose the entire game. Oh right, yeah, so, just in the Kha'Zix and stuff, right? I know I know that matchup is awful. Right, that one feels bad. Right, it's like well, not even jungle matchups because like jungle matchups can usually be avoided, right? Like a bad jungle matchup yeah. for Kane because you can just walk through walls and shit. But like if their laners pick like or if your laners don't pick gankable ins, it's like okay, well, like what am I gonna do? It's like first picking Nidalee. And then you have, like, here, I, I literally had a game today. A Nidalee game where I didn't even get to play. L. I think it that was this game. Fun. So it's like, wait, was it this one? Or was it... Yeah, so like, look at my lanes, right? Like, they're, they're mid laner, it's, it's Talia against Fizz. So guess what I get to do this game? Just sit next to him. Well, yeah, nothing, because she just gets to shove him in all game, right? Like, I just, I don't yeah. even get to play the game, and there's nothing I can do about it. Top lane, oh, nice, I'm going to go kill this Shen. Great. <laughs> and then bot, they're balling just stomp line. Like, what am I supposed to do with these lanes, you know what I mean? And that's, like, that's yeah. the same thing with Kane. It's like, okay, if their mid laner has more shove than your mid, and their jungler is, like, an aggressive jungler, you just forfeit everything. So, okay. Sounds... I think... I think there's very, very limited uh, times where you can play Kane. Um... But those those don't reveal themselves until like you get deeper into the champ select. So like you never see me pick Kane like first or second. Like even when I'm on stream, even in lower elo, unless it's like my whole chat is like crying about me not playing Kane, then I'll be like, okay, I'll play Kane, right? Yeah. But like I never like first pick him. He's just so bad. Um, yeah. I see you mostly play blue Kane. Do you ever play red Kane? Yeah, I I play I swap between the two. I think it's just recently I happened to get games where blue Kane's so good. Like I'm into a a Jinx Talia fiddle or I'm into a a Kog'Maw brand bot or some shit like that. I just it, a lot of times it feels like yeah. uh, Red Kane's better or Blue Kane's better. I know I like the feel of Red Kane more. Like Me too. It's oh, it's so it's more survivability. Oh yeah. Like I just played two it's games today done. where I literally one v five like back to back games where it was just pure one v five because I'm like Red Kane is like a true one v nine champion. Like the yeah, amount of sustaining damage. Heal, CC, yeah, it's it's too much. If you play that champion perfectly, he's actually like one of the true one. It's like how old Graves was, right? Like with the whole yeah. armor and MR. It's like okay, you can't die, but you're killing fucking everyone. So, um, yeah, he's he's really fun and he's really good in in like the specific comps, but he's not really the type of champion that you can just be like, oh, I want to play Kane this game. Okay, I'm gonna pick Kane, because like you know if they have like shapeshifters like uh, Elise and like uh, Jace. You know, even Ivern can fuck up your form, because, like, Ivern is melee, right? 
Yeah. Except for when he's in his bushes, but like you can't control that. Yeah, that's so true. there's like there's a lot of champions where it's like, okay, if you first pick if you first pick Kane and the enemy team goes elite like heaven forbid they pick Elise right now, they go Elise Jace or like Nidalee Jace, it's like, okay, you don't even get to choose what form you get. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So it, it makes it a little bit difficult, but I don't think Kane. I think Kane. I don't know if you've watched my other coaching videos, um, but I recommend Kane a lot because I think he teaches a lot of stuff about the jungle. Like he teaches you how to play around power spikes properly with his form and obviously hitting six stuff like that. So I think he's yeah, really. Yeah, I like really... his pathing. Mm -hmm. I like how he clears camps really well. So I, I like that the ability yep. to move through my jungle quickly. Yeah, so like he, te he teaches you how to farm effectively, he teaches you how to gank with his E, like, setting up new routes, like, you know, if you if you play Kane a lot, then you can kind of understand how, like, champions like Rek'Sai might be able to work, because you can do unique paths for them, right? Yeah. So, and that's something that a lot of junglers don't teach you, um, but I think the way that Kane works, like, teaches you, like I said, power spikes, uh, level, sp like, level spikes, um, Teaches you counter jungling. The only thing he doesn't really teach you is like objective control, because dragon take is like really, really fucking bad. But yeah, um, that's like literally the only downside, other than the fact that he's a weak early game. Uh, but if you pick the right game for Kane, like Kane can like actually duel a decent amount of champions. Like he, you can duel Nidalee with Kane so long as you land everything. If you land both parts of your Q, you actually do a lot of fucking damage. It's just that a lot of people will like Q to like gap close in the fight, and then it's like okay, well you're only gonna get half the damage off then. Right? Yeah, yeah, you wait for them to come. Yeah, you because you can with... always alt afterwards. Yeah, yeah, you open with W and then like auto Q, like try to do your combo as fast as possible. But um, the the main issue I see with Kane players is that they use their Q like way too early when like you're supposed to hold that ability to hit both parts of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, also, a quick question about yeah. uh, masteries. So or runes, I guess they're called now. Whatever. Yep. Uh, do you run fleet footwork on Red King? Because I saw I saw when that first started like. Started out, someone really liked. I forgot who it was, but Flea Footwork on Red Cane with yeah, the was, overheal and all that. Yeah, I was doing that, but I figured the way the game is, it's way too snowbally, and that build is more scale based. So yeah. I just take Electrocute on all canes. Okay, yeah, that's what I started doing too. I tried it out. It's like the clear feels nice, but anything past that doesn't really. I can't really notice that much. Yeah, I started taking Presence of Mind over Overheal because if you play. Uh, red cane red cane yeah so many mana issues yeah so it's fight. like but when you have presence of mind dude you actually feel like a fucking god like oh it was so much fun to play it and i mean you technically still could if you went precision second um but i'd take intelligence pretty much every game i see that you're going solarity intelligence but... yeah i like the move speed and the ultimate hat especially because i feel like i make plays off alt cooldown i don't know if that like the few seconds that it changes actually matters but like mm -hmm. well it the... just it just yeah. The thing is, is you build a lot of CDR on Kane because you get ten from Warrior, ten from Ghostblade, ten from Dustblade. Um, yeah. Your alt cooldown to begin with isn't actually that long at all. But having ultimate hat on top of it, like you have to understand, the more CDR you have, the worse ultimate hat is. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because it's, you know what I mean. Like your CDR can yeah. only go percentage wise. Like eventually, it's like diminishing returns, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think if you're gonna go, what is this sorcery? Um, if you're gonna go sorcery, I think you go. Slurdy water walking every single time. Yeah, yeah, I played a couple games of that. I couldn't really honestly notice a difference with water walking. Oh yeah, because it doesn't feel like I fight at all in the river. But it's it's just good for getting around the map faster. That's that's okay. honestly it, and it it also helps your scuttle crab take, and it helps you. It just helps you fight in, in river like over level three scuttle crabs. So if you're fighting a champion where it's like okay, I might be fighting them level three water walk. If you're if you're already taking sorcery, water walking might be a good idea. Because it also oh, it also helps celerity scaling too. Um, so in inspiration, you would take like stopwatch footwear. Every like standard. Time. Yep. But it's but gonna they're, it's they're gonna change that, tomorrow. Yeah. It's literally gonna change tomorrow. So that's gonna that's gonna change some things. Um, I haven't really thought of it too much yet because I don't really like to look at that stuff. I kind of just like deal with it as it comes. Yeah. Um, but I definitely see a world where like on blue cane, like celerity is really good because if you have mobies and you're inside of a wall. Yeah, it's so fast. Like I've noticed the damage it gives. Oh, like yeah. it's something like. Like sixty eighty. It can be nutty, yeah. With like you pop your ghost play, you're inside of a wall, it's like, okay. Someone's yeah. getting fucking one shot. Like it is what it is. So I definitely think tomorrow that'll be a good thing, but I definitely would have liked to see you taking uh on pretty like on pretty much every jump. I know the like, stopwatch is so big, yeah. I just like having the stopwatch a lot, but like it, it's hard you, to give up the combat stats. Yeah, you literally never run it, so Yeah. 
Um, and that's just something where it's like adapting to meta, right? Like, oh, you're giving up stats, but it's like, man, the value that you get out of the boots and the stopwatch is just too much, and it's like... It's just something yeah, you. It's just something that when these metas come up, being able to adapt to them when you can is what you have to do in order to be a good player. Like you're, you're planning on playing you lol, right? So, yeah. You know, if these guys have stopwatches and you don't, like, yeah, you beat them in stats, but who cares if you have more stats? Hardly ever do fights break out in competitive, right? Yeah, that's true. So it's like these stats aren't really going to help you too much. Kane doesn't really. I mean, Kane or the sorcery stats don't really help you too much in in a competitive environment, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure competitive, I would go stopwatch, like, nine times out of ten, I'd say. But then you'd be rusty with it, and you wouldn't, like... Yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. I, I could also see it helping solo queue, since you can initiate dives a lot better. Well, it makes Kane so good, because you dive with your ultimate and your stopwatch. Like, you have two yeah. ways to drop tower aggro. That's fucking insane. But, like I said, okay. all changes tomorrow, so who really cares, right? But in, in yeah. the future, when stuff like that happens... um. You know, that was in the game for a while. Another thing that, like, was in the game for a bit that I didn't even practice myself was, like, Ezreal Jungle. Because that's something oh, that I'm, like... I played like... a lot of Ezreal Jungle. That was not okay. a proud... Well, think of it like this, right? Like, like you knew Ezreal Jungle wasn't going to last. Everybody did, right? Yeah. So that's, like, not something to put time into. But the stopwatch rune, I was like, okay, like, this is pretty good, and it doesn't look like it's going away. So I'm going to practice my playstyle around it, right? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's kind of like Spell Thieves. At the start, I was kind of avoiding it, but I'm like, oh shit, like, this is pretty good, and it's not going away, so, like, I'm gonna start practicing it. Where, like, yeah. if it's something that's so broken that, like, clearly it's gonna get changed, because Stopwatch wasn't really, like, a big deal until, like, a couple weeks ago. Competitive People... started using it, yeah. Yeah, that's the same with, like, Zombie Ward and stuff. Like, like all these predi Like, I was making a lot of predictions on Zombie Ward, but, like, people weren't really, um... I thought it was busted when it, they first announced it's, the three oh, minutes. It's, Holy shit, that's, oh. that's nutty. I was like, as soon as LCS starts, things getting gutted. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, it's, for like, especially for Kane, like, Zombie Ward is so good on him, because you, since you're always deep in their jungle, you can just put Zombie Wards down in their, in their jungle, and like, like, oh man. Um, okay, so, so you would run a Zombie Ward over, uh, what's it called? Over the eyeball collection? Uh, typically, yeah. Yeah, so I, I also see on, like, Red Cane you run Resolve second. It depends on the game, but typically if I'm running Red Cane, it's because I'm at the tanks, and most tanks have CCs, so... Okay. And the conditioning is, like, super good, but, like, when I'm playing Red... Or, blue, or just, fuck, it doesn't matter what, what form, whatever cane I go, like, Zombie Wards, like, you can get ones in, like, this bush right here. Like, say you're, like, counter jungling, right? Like, say you're starting birds, and you go, like, here, yeah. here, like, you do your clear... And then yeah. you, like, go into their jungle, or, like, a, a common jungle path, like, let's say he did his birds, would just be, like, boom, 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 and then you'd go, like, up here or whatever, like, go through here and take his golems. Yeah. Like, if you just drop a zombie ward right here, like, if his only camp that's up is golems, like, after he resets, he's gonna probably come topside. He's, no one's ever gonna check this bush, right? Like, no one ever does. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And this is, like, if they walk this way, it's very obvious what they're doing. And when they, like, walk away to the camp, like, it's just, it gives you such good vision, and it's, like, nobody ever thinks it's warded. It's like in competitive. If you ever you ever see competitive, they always drop their ward right here. Yeah, always right there. Like the top laner. You see that crux? Yeah, their top laner will come around and do this. He'll go like, Oop, and he'll come drop it right there. Because if their if their jungler shows that he's going this way, it's very obvious the top play is happening. So this ward right here, and then obviously the exact opposite. Yeah. Down here is really important. Uh, zombie ward like right here is really important. Zombie ward right here is really important. Obviously vice versa because the map is symmetrical, but. Okay. Um, also, another thing in solo queue, I've started getting into the habit of uh, having a semi cheese start where, like, I'll check their jungler, <laughs> and this usually only happens if I'm blue side. If I'm blue side, I'll go, like, into the, I'll start their raptors into their red, into their blue, uh, into my blue. Okay. And then by the time they enter their topside jungle, I'm already, like, on my blue and finishing it. Okay. And so they don't really have any way of responding to me. And I guess they, they just kind of go do their Krugs or something. Yeah. Do you think that's worth doing, like, in solo queue? Uh, I mean, yes and no. It's, like, it's good when you get away with it, but if you don't get away with it, you basically lose the game, so... Okay. Like, if you... if And it's, it's very easily spoiled. Like, if their team isn't yeah, yeah, AFK, if it's spoiled. Watches. Yeah, it's, like... Yeah. It's, like, a high-risk, high-reward thing. Well, it's, like, high-risk, medium-reward, I would say, because... Yeah, I'm you, only denying two camps, really. Yeah, and then it's like, if you die, it's like, 
not only did you die, but you're getting no camps, you're waiting out your respawn timer, and then all the time it takes to walk back to your jungle. Okay. I think yeah, getting I think getting early vision is good and seeing what type of jungle you're playing against is really good. Like, oh, you're playing against a Jarvan, right? Like so most Jarvans are gonna do buff wolf's buff gank, right? Yeah. So typically their birds are gonna be up. So you can start your clear off that way. Like, okay, their birds and their golems are probably gonna be up because it's Jarvan. So like if I start my birds clear up, I know I have a free invade. So it's like, oh I okay. hope I hope Jarvan goes for a three gam gank because then I take everything. It's kinda like did you play season six a lot or no? Uh, kind of. I, that was when I started swapping in a jungle. I know that was the, the counter jungle season. Right, Kane is like, literally anyway. season 6 jungler. You avoid yeah. fighting unless it's free, and then you just take everything. Yeah, He's that's, the... that's the playstyle I like in a solo queue, honestly. Just because okay. it feels like it's more self-reliant rather than going for all these plays and stuff. I think my one of the issues I have is mid to late game, I'll just keep trying for plays, even though like... They might not be in the smartest places. Like if you watch the replay, there's a place where I just tried a one v two. Like I didn't know the Soraka was there, but I just saw a Jinx, so I went in on her, and then I just straight up died. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's probably a million little mistakes like that that you're gonna be making in yeah. the game, but we'll we'll talk about them when they come up. Um, All right. As far as everything else goes, like what do you what do you think about just jungle champions this season? Are you just planning on playing Kha'Zix and Kane, or like what's going on? Uh, I'm down to play. I really like Warwick actually. I picked him up during preseason, and I was doing really well. And then as soon as the season started, I guess just because I did really poorly in placements, which kind of put me really far down. Mm -hmm. Um, I just have not been having a good time with Warwick. Like I'll set up these really free ganks. I'll queue through. I'll fear them back, and my laners won't respond in time or something. And then like. It just, like, I waste a lot of time going for these ganks and not getting anything while the enemy jungler, like a Shivana or a Kane, would just power farm and then just get ahead. That's right. what happens a lot of the time. It's it's what, like, got me started playing Kane in the first place. Right, because it's like, you have a win condition outside of your, your teammates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just through farming, which is, like, like yeah, I said... Yeah, and Warwick gets kited so easily, and late game, he's like, eh. So, it's just, it doesn't yeah. feel as good. And if, you're, if you fall behind on a champ, you're just so useless. Yeah. I know, like, also in general, I have an issue with dying a lot because I try for these engages. So, mm -hmm. like, if you if you look at my OPGG, it's literally, like, six to seven deaths per champion yeah. on my most played. So, like, it, it, I, I think it's coming from the mindset of, like, when I play competitive, usually I'll, because I'm not a shot caller, pe other people will be calling me to go in. Mm -hmm. And I'll just go in, and people will actually follow up because we're on the same page. Yeah. So I get away with a lot riskier stuff. But in solo queue, I just go in, and then I die. Like, if my teammates played, like, optimally, like, perfectly then i probably would have lived and got a bunch of kills but right. obviously they're not going to play perfectly so like i don't account for that okay and i think some of the issues like okay you know you don't have like how many king games do you think you have in total probably like 40 40 ish 50. okay so you have you have really no idea your full limits on the champion yeah so there, there are times where i mean kha'zix is only 15 this season um, but you've you've seen Kha'Zix in and out for a few years now. Like you've seen him yeah, in your games. Yeah, I've been games. watching a lot of Kha'Zix. Yeah, like I watch a lot of Demir too. Okay, like you you. But the thing is that like, you've seen him in your games, so it's like you're kind of like uh, subtly like getting knowledge of like this champion as you see him. Obviously, you don't truly understand until you play the champion. But like yeah. with Kane, it's like wow. Okay, no one really plays this champion, and he kind of just came out. So it's like it's really hard to tell what your limits are. Like when I play Kane on stream, and I'm playing Blue Kane. It's like, well, I've already played a couple hundred Kane games, so it's like, I know my damage perfectly now, right? Where yeah. it's like, when I'm on stream and I, like, I one-shot somebody, my stream's like, holy shit, right? But I'm like, like yeah. it's pretty obvious that I was, like, I knew in my head, like, if I go for this play, it's going to work. Or, like, tower diving with Red Kane and, like, living with, you know, small amounts of HP or, like, out-sustaining their damage. Like, this stuff isn't that surprising when you already know, like, what your champion's capable of doing. But if you aren't 100% sure on what your champion's capable of doing, you are going to be dying more, so... It's, it's so would you say it's good to like keep trying this playstyle and just going for things um, or like? Yeah, I would. It lets you it lets you feel out like what you're what you can and can't do. Like I would rather you try to do the shit than not, right? Yeah. Like it, it's easier to teach an aggressive player to be more passive than a passive player to be more aggressive. Yeah, yeah, for so, sure. Okay, well that, that's good then. Um, I don't really think you should feel bad about dying a lot, but you have to understand that dying a lot obviously isn't that good. Yeah. But also understand that part of it is due to your inexperience on the champion. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're going to be playing Elol, so 
you're going to have to be playing more champions, but having a core, like, Kane is honestly probably never going to be getting competitive. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. I played it in, like, one game, and it was kind of eh. Yeah, no, I've, I've played it in scrims before. Mm -mm. Like, I got my form at 17 minutes. Like, that's never happened yeah, before. Yeah, you never fight. It's yep. actually awful. Yep, so... Um, yeah, I, I just don't think he's ever going to be competitive champion. Um, so, I, I think all that stuff is fine. I think if you're... If you're just playing a lot of games, I think you'll be okay. But in terms of your champion pool for competitive, what are you trying to do? Or are you just gonna play? Uh, so I already, I already have down um, Jarvin. I have down Zach. Like it doesn't show here, but I like I do have a I different account you. that I practice on. But like I kind of don't really, um, I don't really tell it, like speak about it really. Sure. <laughs> it's just like a personal thing. Yep. But um, like Zach and Jarvin, this season I've been doing really poorly on Jarvin because I've been trying out some like weird AD Jarvin, like full assassin stuff. But like anything, any tank really, except for Sejuani, weirdly enough. But Sejuani, I'm like passable on. It's just not great. Right. Um, Sejuani yeah, is a little weird like to play. Sejuani yeah, is. It's weird. not like she's hard though. Is the thing. It's just like I, I need more games on it. Is all. Yep. Uh, so like pretty much any tank jungler, and then um out of the damage junglers, my Nidalee's weak. I would say my Lee Sin is good. And my, what what else? Rek'Sai. My Rek'Sai is passable. It's not great, but like I feel like one of the another reason I picked up Kane is like you said, it helps me practice my gank paths. And I, I just didn't have that mentality with Rek'Sai to go f look for those tunnels from the back. Yep. So like, it's it's just something that I need to have more games on. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's and just also another thing is like champs like Elise, I'm bad at because I don't have that mentality of like I can dive and get away with it. Like I'll survive this dive. I just won't go for it. Yeah. So I don't really path behind the enemy tower a lot, which I know Elise should look to do. Mm -hmm. I just I just don't have that in me. I guess. Okay. And I mean that's that's just because of inexperience on the champion. So as long as you understand that once you put more games on this champion, uh, these plays will reveal themselves to you, right? Okay, yeah. Um, and, you know, as far as, like, as far as, like, the whole pathing behind tower thing, like, I don't know if you saw, or I don't know if you, like, follow my Do you... Holy shit, my Twitter couldn't be any more laggy. Like, I do stuff like this all the time in solo queue. Like, I'm behind oh, you it. just walk behind the turret, yeah. Right, it's like, like, I have 800 HP, I'm gonna tank, if I go behind this tower, how many shots am I gonna take? Probably three. Two. If you don't use your E? Eh... Maybe, let's see. I think if you use your E, it's two. But I need yeah. my E for the gank. Yeah. Two. Oh, it is two. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, like, just doing stuff like walk, like, even if I'm playing Cossix, like, if I know, like, okay, I'm only going to tank a tower a shot or two, right? It's like, yeah. if I can get this flank on him, though, it's so much more worth it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, like, it's me being... Than just me, coming out of river. Yeah, me being down 300 HP doesn't matter if the guys can instantly die anyway, right? Yeah. Um, I guess also I don't have enough practice with stopwatch, so that kind of I don't have that mentality either. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I have that that bad habit in uh, ranked of just like yeah, not occasionally dodging, just not, picking one thing. You're not, not dodging. dodging yeah. Oh, no, no, I dodge a decent amount now, but, like, this this season, I don't think I did much. Yeah, my Sejuani was... Yeah, I was trying to, like, play. It was just not working out. Yeah, you did. All the, you were, all the competitive you, you were definitely trying, I can tell. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you tighten your champ one more, like, it'll be okay. Like, I don't know why you're playing Zed. I don't know if I'm playing Udyr. Autofilled. Right. Udyr, I, I saw the win rate. I was like, ah, give it a shot. Right, but I mean, you know, champions can have high win rates, but if you suck at the champion, you're not going to win on them. Just the way it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty much pretty much covers it. I'm excited to see the way that runes go tomorrow. Like, I'm yeah, excited to see that you know if they go, people are going more uh, sorcery. We'll see. So, All right. Yeah. Do, um. Anyways, going into this vod, do you have anything specific you want me to touch on or what? I think more in general, looking for those like moments to engage or plays uh like either or like towards the end i know i throw by a bad engage i i popped edge of night uh i built it actually because i knew that malzahar would just instinctively press r on me but i think it got popped by like malzahar q or something yeah and then i just straight up got ulted and died um on top of that 
uh, just in general, mid to late game, like how I should be pushing my lead or like a lead. I should. I, I don't know if I ever pulled a lead this game, but more okay. like how do I make something happen in our favor? Yeah. Okay. We will jump right into the VOD then. So when you see this game right now, what do you what are you thinking you're gonna start and why? Uh, I want to start top side because bot is squishy as hell. Also, we have ganks set up and they don't really have any escapes. Okay. Um, I was lo also looking mid because I know that Mauzhar will push Cassio in early. Um, I think that Cassio isn't really easy to gank for early game, especially with a Vi. I think we lose the two v two. Um, until Cassio maybe gets a tier or something. I know that Cassio's early game got nerfed really hard. Yep. And then top lane, I didn't really want to touch, because I'm pretty sure I, I don't win that. You don't win, like, a GV2? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Plus, like your not, top laner close, shouldn't so. really... Your top laner should be okay, too, by himself in that lane, so... Yeah, I think I also checked and he was auto-filled. I don't remember. There was a reason why I didn't put any time into top. Okay. You're starting right here? Okay. I mean, I would have yeah. started birds, like... Raptors, yeah. Yeah, the reason why starting um, Raptors is good is because it doesn't let them know where you started. Okay, yeah, that makes so sense. I, you, I didn't really think about yeah, that, it, like giving them that info. Yeah, yeah. And, and it gives your team no excuse to like miss XP or to like etc. Like just all these little things. Like people like to always say stuff like, "Oh, like I, if I didn't leash, I would have been fine in lane." You know, I'm sure you've maybe yeah. heard that once yeah, or yeah, twice. Yeah. So For sure. it just uh, it's just really good to hear. Um, so if you do take talisman, you want to make sure you're making use of the burn. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, I know the last auto attack, I could have waited a bit more. I tried to wait for it, because if you see my yeah, last auto, it went from 202 to, like, 94 to 6, uh, like, something like that, where I thought I did, like, 96 damage. Okay. But it, I, I didn't get it. All so. that matters is that you're thinking about it. That's all I care about. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's all fine. Um, ideally, when you're doing this camp, the and the reason the reason why I like to start I it, I want to save too, E for it, right? No, this is fine. This is, you're totally oh. okay here. Um, because when you come at it from this angle, you're more just, you, you're more wanting to go through it like this way. Yeah. But if you if you start on it, you auto this in once, and then they all clump and you go through them. But like, because uh, okay. when you path like this, you're trying to be as fast as possible, right? Like you're trying to like auto yeah. then Q. But if you start on this camp and then you're walking this way, it it meshes a lot better with like the way that you're walking. So you can auto this right here. They'll all clump, Q through, kite up, kite up, Q through, and then go back up. But here it's like. Okay. Here it's like you want to auto them, Q through, and then it's like, okay, where am I running? It's like, okay, now I'm getting body blocked, because you can't really kite in this in this pit, right? Yeah. Whereas if you start from the inside and you come out, you can kite around this whole area, and it makes it makes you take a lot less damage. Okay, I think I just have the mentality where, like, uh, mid-game, I know, like, a W and a Q one-shots it, so I'll auto it, and I'll pull it a bit so they line up, and then I'll W, Q. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Like, that's usually what I do mid. Yeah. It's just, it just makes it better for starting it and worse when you don't start it, that's all. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you should just be using your E here on the wall. Just always be using your E whenever it's up. You need to be as high as you as possible. I, I skipped blue here because I know uh, I know that Vi doesn't usually do um raptors, okay. so I just went and took it. Okay, that's that's totally okay. And I, I was also going to take her golems too, but um mm -hmm. I saw a gank bot I think. I, I like hovered mid, cause I think Casio would type something about like wanting to go mid, mm -hmm. and then I also saw the Vi in the top bush, so I knew that I wanted to wait here for a counter. Okay, this is yeah, this is totally okay. And then I'm I moved in cause I thought I could get the kill. Mm -hmm. I probably could have flashed for it, but I didn't really want to die to the Vi. No, you don't flash um, that. You got it. You got his flash. Like your play, your play is one at that point. You don't have to commit for that kill there. Because in the future, the kill's just there when you have red buff and he doesn't okay. have flash. Like, if, if it was 100%, obviously you fucking take it with your flash. Like, no questions asked, yeah. right? Yeah. But that's kind of a sticky situation that you're in there, so... Um, that's something where, like, maybe I would have done that and then, like, died, but that's because I'm so comfortable with the fact that I died for a one-for-one one if I get the first blood. Because, like, in, in the way that I think of the game, it's like, when I'm playing a main champion, if I get a kill, it's, like, three kills to them. Because, like, yeah, I yeah. can do so much more with that goal than they can, because I'm on my main. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. So, I'm a lot more comfortable with doing shit like that. But, um, this is totally okay for you not to go for that play. You just okay. got to make sure that you try to punish his summoners being down in the future. Yeah. Okay. I think I don't do a good job of that. Like, I'm not very good at looking for return ganks. That's okay. Um... 
can't. I should probably just recall for this. I think I look bot because I had mana and bot okay. was calling or mid. So I forgot. Like there's a lot of typing in the chat where it's like, come help, come help, all mm -hmm. that stuff. Okay, if you're gonna go bot here, it's because you know that Vi's top and you're taking her golems. Because going bot yeah, here, like your team, in, right? your team doesn't have very much CC, and you don't know if they're missing summoners or not. But like, right now, like you know, you're these are gonna spawn in like the next twenty seconds. You need to be on the on the map for them. You don't want to be waiting for them to spawn, or you want you want to be waiting for them to spawn. So it's not like you want them to be up and just waiting for you to take them. Okay. If we go for this gank here, there's no way this fucking works. Like I can, I'm just looking at this right now. There's no fucking way yeah. this works unless they just start inting and bot. I think I they actually do start inting or no, I don't think so. I think I, it just doesn't work. Yeah. But even if you see the lane like this, you should just be, you should start recalling. Like your birds just okay. like your birds are. It's not worth taking scuttle at this time. No, it's you just, just need worth... to get to your okay. birds. Yep. Okay. Unless it was like literally right. In... Oh yeah, we're investing way too much time here. Yeah. Okay. I guess we're like looking mid. Yeah, because mid, mid was pushing up and then Casio pinged. Well, this lane's going to push them out, so. Yeah. And your birds are up. So every second that you're not doing these birds, there's time being wasted and next being wasted. Okay. Yeah, this, this is just never going to work. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, hmm. so going for this play, also, the way that the lane yeah. was, was actually okay. Like, even though I don't recommend that you ever go for this play ever, um, it almost worked out in your favor. Unfortunately, he had his shield up, but once he had his shield up, there was no reason to cast your W. You should have just autoed him out of the wall, and then if you autoed yeah, him, you would have procced it, and then W'd this way. Yeah, yeah. I, I always forget that, like, I can pop mouth shield with my um, my auto. Yeah, so, I mean, that's fine. You, you, you tried, you got pinged to go mid, you tried to go mid, ended up being a bad play, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's good that we I take our. Punished, yep, so. that's good. We took our birds here. Same on a lot of gold. Yeah. If I were you, I'd probably reset. Oh, I would have reset a while ago, but so now you're kind of trapped. Now you're here. now you're in a weird spot where your yeah. camp starts spawning, but like you also need to recall because it's like if you yeah. take these wolves, and then Vi getting spot, but she's already recalled. It's like okay, now I'm at a disadvantage, and you have to respond, right? It's not like you're gonna like just yeah. not respond to it. So you put yourself in a really bad spot where it's like, okay, if I recall, that'd have been way stronger here. Okay. So so look to recall as like as soon as my second rotation's as up. Soon as, you're, as soon as your camps are down, as soon as your camps are down, just fucking recall. Unless there's a counter, unless like say you just cleared your gromp, you're about to recall, and then Vigank's top right here. You're like, oh shit, okay, I have her timer on her birds. You know they're up, and if you're like counting her CS, you know that she hasn't taken them yet. Yeah. So like, and and that's a hundred percent guarantee. Like, even though you know these spawned, you don't know if Vi's here right now or if she's right here. So invading yeah. her here doesn't make too much sense, unless you're literally here when they spawn. But I don't know if you're doing that, and I don't think you are. So. Um, I used to do a lot of that, and I kind of stopped because you can't really do that in competitive. Like, people will protect the camps a lot more. Yeah, that's a good point. But this isn't competitive, and it's something that you do want to learn when you're playing, especially Kane, because the bird camp okay. is so easy for you to take that you want to be making use of your ability to do it. Okay. But what I'm just trying to say is, like, um, say you did full clear, like, you would want to recall unless you saw something free as in Vi going top, meaning your, her bottom side was up. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I would have recalled, I would have recalled after we did our comp initially. Because then we could have just recalled, and by the time we got here, they would have spawned. And then okay. you would have had, you would have had Blue Smite and Boots, and you could have taken these, you could have taken your Wolves, and then you could have been open up to a bot side invade. Because you would have had mid priority since his mid sums are down, and Vi might be on the side of the map because well we have timers on our camps. Okay. In this instance, you could ar you would already probably be like right here right now. You would have already cleared your birds. Maybe you'd be a little bit further, but you'd be doing like maybe your wolves right now. And you could be passing towards here, and then if you see where Vi is right now, like she's not even here to answer. So you would have pulled a pretty big advantage, but that's fine. All right. I think you should have bought boots. I think boots are way more valuable than another longsword on Kane. Uh, especially because okay. most of your stuff is counter jungle related. Um, getting to a place faster is a lot more valuable than 10 damage. Alright. And in Solid Team. Because I play a lot of Kha'Zix, so I, I'm e used to. Even in Kha'Zix, I would do it too. Oh, on Kha'Zix too? Okay. Well, yeah, because if you're playing Kha'Zix, if you can't get your passive off, the gang's probably not going to work. Okay. So. There's like. I think it. It's not really Kha'Zix, I would say. It's more like Kha'Zix Lee. Like back when both of those were meta, I remember that you'd have to like squeeze in that extra little damage early. Okay, I mean, like, that's the thing, like, even in, like, competitive, like, in competitive, you would never do that, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, competitive for sure, boots. Right. Probably, like, boots and then 
a pink and something else even. Well, you would buy, yeah, you'd buy, well, because boots are 50 gold cheaper. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, like with the 25G. Yeah, sure. Because uh, I think it was really exact on the spy. It was. I remember it being, like, really close, yeah, yeah. Well, regardless, okay, boots before, long story. Yeah. Like, if you recall with 950, or like a thousand, I would go, like, on your first back, I would go Stalker's Blade, uh, boots, and then um, a pink ward. Okay. Because, like I said, if you're invading, then you have a good spot to put your pink ward in, and, like, your zombie wards, whatever you want to do, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so the you reason don't, I don't show win myself this. here, you don't win this. Yeah, yeah. The reason I show myself here is to make him back off yep. because I know I don't win it. Okay, I didn't want to like bush cheese. That's okay. Yeah, that's totally good. Because if you sit in this bush, then Cass is gonna think that you win this. Yeah. No, this was this was totally well played. Like this is that's exactly the type of thing that you want to do. Oh shit, they're making smurfing. <laughs> that's alright though. Um. Yeah, I mean, we're wasting Renekton's time, we got Renekton's ulti out, we're helping our top laner here. He got solo killed, and now we gave him some extra pressure here, which is good. Yeah, shove out, because he has no mana. You want to help him shove this way, but even if he's pinging you off of it, he has no mana. I guess... I guess it was... going to reset afterwards. Yeah, in, in this scenario, it's okay not to, but... I see a lot of people that are just actually too, like, scared to shove out waves for their laners, oh, because... Oh, yeah, I, I don't think it would be a problem shoving okay. this out. We already... Well, he, Got, uh, he really Renekton. wants to, so you you definitely should have in this case. If he really wants to yeah. shove this next wave, oh, he's fucking himself. Yeah, because I, I, I knew that Malzar TP because he didn't TP back from that first time he was low. Right. Or, like, even if he did, it would be up by now, so I was like, I, I don't think you should push that, but then she's like, yeah, ping, but if she's going left. to, you just gotta fucking do it. Yeah, I didn't know she was gonna do that. I thought she would reset after yeah. clearing the wave bot, so I was like, alright. Yeah, it's pretty much impossible to know when people are gonna make mistakes like that. But this is good for you, right? On a selfish level, you get a free wave now, so... Yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay. So you need 600 or more gold for your warrior. Let's see how we do it. Obviously, you're going to try to play on Bali now because you want to get your blue form. Yeah. The only time I wouldn't recommend using your E like for in your jungle is when you plan on going for a gank. Like I wouldn't have E'd here. Oh, okay. Yeah, because there's a chance that you might need it for this bot gank. Like it's it's still only up in four seconds, like you're kinda just waiting for it to come up, but I yeah. think I was hovering mid here because I knew that Malzahar had R and so did Vi. And yeah. I was scared that he would gank. Okay. I didn't check the bush, I think. That, that's, Not immediately. that's okay. That's okay. Let's go to our wolves. Our next goal here is to hit warrior. That's it. Yeah. Basically, at this point, you want to hit warrior and then circle on bot. See, we're in a scenario where we want to go bot, but we just use our E, right? Yeah. So now if we come to this wall, we're going to have to wait like five seconds, which is really bad. Because if you come to I this wall... I think I have it. I think it's the pause, like a bug. Oh, it, it could be. I don't remember. I think I ganked this, though. Oh, no, no. I might not have it yet. I don't, I don't think you do. But if you stand here... Your teammates might think that you do, and then might go in preemptively, and then you can't help. Okay. So it's like, it's kind of like small, and like, you might not think that makes a big difference, but it, it definitely can. Okay. Made a difference here, apparently, since Jenna went in too early. Yeah, Jenna, Jenna fucking inted right there. Damn, dude. If I you, definitely didn't have to flash. If you had stopwatch, like... you definitely didn't have to flash. Yeah. If you had stopwatch, you could have hard baited that shit. Yeah, it's nice, you got a lot of orbs there, that's good for us. Okay, we have enough gold through Warrior and Boots, so this is a good time to good time to recall. Yeah. So their Vi is spending a lot of time top, but she hasn't done anything for her top laner. Her top laner is just better than your top laner. That's it. Yeah. So she's wasting a lot of time, and that was good for us. That was good for mid, and it was good for you. So that was a good play. Okay. Yep. Clear the wave. Okay, I would just go dive bot here. If you see them going for this play. Just spam ping assistance on, well, they want to do Ocean Dragon, but the bot dive is way fucking better. Okay. I guess there isn't going to be a wave here, but that's not really why. I push the next one. And I have R, or I actually I don't have R. E even if you did or you didn't, it's a 4v2 underneath your tower, and you it's, it's a guaranteed 4v2 because we just saw 3 top. Okay. And we know Malzar's TP's down, because the last time he used it was not too long ago, I don't think. Alright, so call the dive... I think I was a little, like, 
scared of how my bot lane would perform during that dive, like subconsciously, because yeah, I but... just ganked for them. Mm -hmm. It's it's it is like I understand that thought process, but like you can't do that. Like, yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, like you're playing a team game. Like you, you know what you're signed up for when you queued up. Like you have to try to play as a team as much as possible. Obviously, there's like some things that you just can't control, and it's really annoying when it happens. But like you can't just like not go for players because you think your team's gonna suck. Like. Obviously, you you're gonna go for a play, and your teammates are gonna fuck it up every once in a while. But like, that shouldn't limit to like what you're actually trying to do. Like, if going for this bot type, if going for a four man bot here is the right play, you can't just not go for it because you think your bot's gonna suck. Like, it's just that's yeah. such a bad mentality. To have. I think it was like a, I think it was a like that's more subconscious. Like, I would never do that on purpose. But mm. like, oh no, also I get it. My team, my team kind of like called for a drag. And yeah, they and that's okay. Just, I was like, all right. Oh yeah, but the thing is, if there's a, if this is a scenario, and no one's pinging anything. Making the call for the bot time is pretty much always better. Yeah, okay. Because it's, it's unanswerable. They cannot do anything So I should be it. the one to call that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially because Cassie was passing down here because she wanted blue. She's already walking down here, so if you start spam pinging assistance on this bot tower, your Cassie is going to be like, oh, well, I guess I'm already down here, so why not, right? Yeah. Okay. I just clear through here. Um, yep. That, that like, weird fight bot, like... So so they sent they burned a TP and so we were like awesome they they used the TP so we're gonna back off, and then uh, Urgot started TP and I was like all right guess we're going, and yeah. then Urgot went and then they sent another TP and we we're like all right we're definitely not winning this with like just numbers and then Urgot goes in anyway and just gets Malzahar ulted so there's not much to do there. Yep. Uh, okay, I don't like this at all. There's you're paying for assistance here. Um, the odds of you killing this guy are so fucking slim. This guy can 100% 1v2 you and Urgot. It's not even funny. Um, yeah. You're sitting on 1300 gold, so 1300 gold gets you two long swords and Moby boots. That's a pretty fucking good recall in my book. So, I would say like there's no camps. He's not taking your red. He's not taking anything. Yeah. He's not doing. He's anything. not really doing anything. Yeah. But I you, think I just back off and yeah, like. Yeah, that's chill. okay. But you're kind of like, when you ping on your way, look at Cassio's pinging on her way now too. Like right. you're kind of giving people the wrong idea of what you actually want to accomplish here. Because when you're pinging on your way here, you're saying guys, let's collapse on him and kill him. All right. But we we don't have to kill him here, right? We got all yeah, of our camps. Yeah. He's not doing anything. We have vision of him. If he's if he's sitting here, then Urgot gets to sit up here for free. Okay. So that's all we have that to do. Sense. But if we if we make Urgot leave and come and help, then he's not getting anything because you're not fucking kill this guy anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. But like your team's like, what the fuck? You just pinged on your way, but now you're just sitting mad. So you're kind of just giving your team like misleading pings. Okay. But you definitely do want to ping when you have the intent to do something. But make sure that, like, you have to understand the actions that are going to take... It's kind of like when you're jungling and your team pings for a gank. But then the gank oh, is shit. Yeah, yeah it's just sense. like, what the fuck? Like, what, why did he just do that? Well, it works both ways. Okay, so you really need to recall. You're sitting on too much gold. Alright, so in this kind of situation, I should just recall and hope my team doesn't, like... Well, we should have recalled up I, here. I ended... If we recalled up okay. here, we would have been here for this with our items. Okay. I, I went in there because that was like, I thought that we were going in because okay. I saw like them go, they they like hard committed on Casio. Okay. We, I don't, I, we didn't have numbers, but I thought, I, I honestly thought I could kill someone there and just like get out. Because okay. if they burn Malzaharl, they don't really have anything else for me. Yeah, okay. But going for that play is fine because I know 100% you got your form off that. You just yeah. AoE'd three arranged champions at 14 minutes, okay? So you definitely got your form. And by doing yeah. that, they didn't get tower. So, you did give them a little bit of gold, but they split it three ways, and you got your form, and you defended the tower. So, it actually wasn't yeah. even that bad. And they didn't even get it, so, cool. <sighs> I would definitely go for Moby's over Jerk. Yeah, that was like a, like, I wasn't sure if I should go for Moby's there or not, but, like, I know the utility of Moby's is so good. Like, it feels really good when you're in a wall. Yep, it's, it's way better. Especially if you're doing celerity. Okay. So the the mobies are a must. Let's take a look how we played this. I'm not really gonna harp on mechanics too much, don't worry. If you like fuck something up, I don't really care. It's just more about going for the play or not. I, I think I eat into the wall too early. Um otherwise I wouldn't have had to burn flash. Like, if I eat into the wall a bit later, I don't think they would have had that, like, little notification thing. And no. No no one's fucking reacting to you anyway. You play this one. 
Nice, you autoed instead of alting, so you still have it. Oh, your ult's down. Never mind. Okay, no, that was yeah, totally from, from that before. was totally good. Flashing there was good. You guarantee the double kill when you flash there. Yeah. That's what you want to do. You guarantee, you know, your team is losing right now. You need kills. Flashing for it to guarantee it is 100% the right play. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, just... I pushed this out just because I knew that, like, they still had Renekton and Vi nearby. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have Tristana, so I was kind of scared for, like, yep. a dive or, like, a push. Yeah, it's okay. We could have pushed that harder, but it's fine. If we, like, WQ'd through right when, it, right when the wave walked up, but we, like, just didn't queue. Yeah. Okay. Yep. What? <laughs> Did she just cast out the fucking Herald? I think so. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Okay, so we want to be careful here with committing to a fight because we're sitting on a ton of gold. We All do right. want to hang around, but we definitely want to be careful of what we're doing. I'm just scaring them off there with the E. I was yeah. really well. You're scared. Like, I don't know if it's worth it or not because, like, I lose my initiation for the next like ten something seconds. But like, I I didn't think that they would continue siege with dragon up, and I didn't think that we were in a position to go challenge that Drake. So I just decided to scare them off. Okay, that's okay. If as long as that is your intention, then that's okay. But if you're just eating through that wall randomly, then it's bad. If you're eating through that wall because you know you're gonna get objectives off it, um, like you, you know, like okay. If I E through this wall and they back off, I can go take my camp, I can go take top wave, and then I can get dust blade. That's good. But if you're like, oh, I'm going to E through this wall to engage on them, then it's bad. Uh, so that was my original intention. I was going to go farm uh, top wave and push it in and then mm -hmm. reset, but my team runs down to this drag pit. Yep. So I was like, uh, I guess I have to come. Yep, you do. And we didn't know Renekton based, so I'm looking for a flank here, just because I knew that they were running down. Okay. Uh, I missed the W. That's okay. I, smi I didn't know the Vi was in the bush. Yep. And then she just kind of suicides, so we just get a free kill. Yep. I didn't have to ult that, actually, now that I look back. No, but... you, you didn't, but it's fine. I think I could have kept going if I had that ult. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's fine. Also, a quick question. If I just Q, like over and over again on Kane while moving in the same direction. Yep. Do I go faster? Yep. Oh. It's it's way faster, by the way. Oh damn. Also you can queue while you're in the E. I don't know if you know that. Yeah yeah yeah. I saw I saw that earlier to uh today I think. Oh on my stream? Yeah. Yeah when I was walking through like this wall. Yeah yeah yeah. Oh yeah one. people don't know that so yeah. <laughs> yeah the chat freaked out. It's pretty funny. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh fully uh, there, I thought I could get two kills. Yeah no that's fine. Yeah he lived with one HP. Like that's what I'm saying. It's good that you're going for this shit. Like this is what you need to do, because the more times you do that, the more comfortable you get with your damage, and then the better off you are. Okay. Wait, did you just buy Mobius and you had Gold Tree Dustblade? I don't understand this. So uh, you have enough Gold Tree yeah. Dustblade. I think I, re I think I realized in this fight that I was like way too slow, so I really wanted the move speed afterwards. Uh, so in the okay, in the yeah, I would have I would have done this the other way. Yeah, no, I would have. Okay, so yeah. It, it's fine. Right. Like, I, instead of the Dirk, I would have Mobies, and then instead of the Mobies, I would have bought a Duskblade. It's like, you committed to buying the Duskblade over the Mobies, but then now you're just saying, I don't want to do this anymore. You gotta, yeah, you I gotta think commit. it's more like, in that fight, if I had Mobies, I'm pretty sure I would have wiped. So I, I was like, right. damn it, I should buy this now. You're like, oh, maybe that exact same fight will happen again. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I guess Duskblade would help more. Damn. Yeah, I mean, in that fight, Duskblade wouldn't have done much for you, but if you're committing to this Duskblade by going Dirk, before the Mobies, then you gotta fucking finish it. Okay. Okay. So right now, all you're doing is hitting 700... Okay, yeah. I would've done I would have done my Golems, then reset, bought your Dustblade. You are so okay. weak without your Dustblade right now. Alright. Like, you're... Okay, you're not... Clearing. You're not weak, but you're not nearly as strong as you could be. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I think part of it is because I have some weird aversion to taking uh, Golems back okay, from, I'll like... Just, just recall here. I think I go clear bot because no one was coming bot. It's slow pushing out though. Was that a slow push? Okay, look. I mean, okay. So if the, the lane's fighting here, like the minions are mimicked, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my, my I, I don't know what the fuck is going push. on over Last here, week. but you're, yeah, your minions are going to reach. Do you want to know the best way to tell if the lane's going to push? Yeah. The casters. 
Okay. So you have four casters. That's like the they have three. It's, it's even not though enough. even okay. though they have more melees, these things are pounding them from far away. And this wave would have crashed too. So like this wave right, was gonna push sense. for you. Yeah, that would have pushed. But the, the best way to think, the best way to look for it, because I know telling which way to tell the waves are gonna freeze or not is, is kind of hard sometimes. But the best thing you can do is take a look at the casters. Because the okay. casters own these minions so hard. Because like, even though they do less damage, the damage that you know it takes for the the melees to walk up to them, like they're getting free hits off basically. All right. Okay, so now you're kind of trapping yourself because. You should have recalled a lot earlier, but now this this is the second time it's happened in this game. Now, now you're in a scenario where a play breaks out. You have to re respond to it instead of recalling okay. for your dust blade. You really, really have to go back here, and we're just not. Yeah. We could have recalled this a long time ago. Right. The last the last two camps that we did were fucking irrelevant. All you need is 700 right. gold here. You don't need this extra 250. All right. So play around the. So right here, yeah, this is the end. I think if I did my combo faster there, I actually could have killed her. Like, but I mean, I didn't know Soraka was there at all. I just didn't play okay. that right. I was heading mid and then recalling afterwards. I okay, didn't even well, notice she how was did there you, until like. Well, how did you not play this right then? In my opinion, you played this right. Like, I think, like if you think Soraka isn't here, then you played this right. If Soraka uh, wasn't there, you would have got the kill, right? Yeah. Okay, and that's what you thought was going to happen, right? Alright. So yeah. then how did you play it wrong? Um, I was wondering if, like, maybe I could have, like, landed that a WQ faster or something. Just, like, I know I die there anyway. I'm just wondering, like, if the mechanic portion of it is actually correct. Like, not the decision to go in okay, on Okay, well, her. once he goes into this bush, you don't want to cast your W. Yeah, because I can't aim it. And so you I also wait. don't want to Q into it either, because then you're going to miss half of it anyway. I lose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so W auto. So you auto then W'd, which was bad. If you W autoed, it would have been better, but the silence is on you anyway, so you're, you can't Q after anyway. But right. if you, like... If, if you're thinking about a play, and you're like, okay, this guy doesn't have flash. If I flash on him, I can kill him, right? Yeah. But then you go for the, the play, and you flash on him, and then all of a sudden he had flash, and you're like, oh, shit. Like, oh, he flashed, so he lived. But if he didn't have flash, he would have died. Does that mean I, it I was a bad play? I knew he didn't have flash here. Okay, I'm not, I'm not talking about uh, that. I'm just using an example. Uh, Does yeah. that mean it's a bad play? Uh, no. It's well, no, just misinformation. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying here. This wasn't bad to go for, but... Because you, you went for this play not thinking you could 1v2. You went for this play thinking you could kill Jinx. Okay. So don't... This is the kind of shit where it's like, oh, fuck, Jinx was... Or she was there. It happens. No big deal. Like, you just barely didn't see her because the the bush. Like, totally okay. This is, like, the smallest thing you could... This is the smallest, most not noticeable mistake you can make. But, I mean, you could, like, lose the game off something like this. But, like, these are not the kind of things you worry about. Okay. The kind of things you worry about is like not recalling properly. Those are like the big things where it's like, well, the the big things are the little things in league, in my opinion. Like, cause right. a, a bronze player could look at that and be like, yeah, that was bad, right? But yeah. not many bronze players are gonna be like, okay, you need to recall right now, like right now, right now. Like, the small things are okay. what really matter. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cause that play that that, that play could have easily worked out. Like if if Soraka just wasn't there, the play would have worked. Yeah. Like how are you gonna? How would you ever like? Be hard on yourself for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What were you gonna say there? You said like in general, but then I. Oh uh, yeah, off. yeah. So, uh, I I was just gonna ask. Uh, in general, should I try and recall? Like, like obviously I should try and recall off item, uh, power spikes. But like, how how would you go about judging whether it's safe to recall right now while your team's not gonna do anything or not? Cause like, I'm pretty sure the reason one of the reasons why I didn't recall there was one I was kind of greedy for my camps, and two I was scared that something would happen mid. So I actually go to my wolves instead of my golems. It's just a That's risk versus reward. Is, um, uh, our our team just like uh, sorry, you said it's it's just what? It's just risk versus reward. Okay. So like just in general, just judge like how yep. how yep. likely it is your team gets engaged on. Because yep. usually in my collegiate team, we play around like mid bot a lot. So I actually uh, not really bot, more so mid, because our mid is Yusui. So we like. Oh, I'm friends with them. Make sure it's, yeah, yeah, we just make sure we ward that everything around mid or like in general that's the goal um so i don't actually get much time to take golems usually so i, I actually shy off taking golems half the time you're saying i should like try and make a habit of going to golems more it depends like, on that... if you're hitting something if you're gonna hit a level off it if you're gonna hit gold for an item off it okay like you could have got these golems for what was it dust blade dust blade yeah and then you ran the opposite way which ended up leading you to going down here even more which ended up leading you to go to the wave which ended up leading you to go here. You know, it's just like, 
it's very situational all this other stuff happened but you just your main goal here was to get your dust blade and you could have okay. done that by just getting golems okay that like makes sense. golems like yeah golems are pretty fucking stupid but it's like if you get a level off it or you get an item spike off it then just do it okay but other than that we're pretty much ignoring golems but they're a good camp to counter too because it's a camp that you always know is up and it's a camp that um it's a good spot to ward in case people, because people walk by them a lot. So, like I said, the zombie ward or whatever in this bush. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So I go for this play because I see the tornado in the castle. Yeah, perfect. I, I flashed to make sure I could actually reach the rock there. Yeah. I didn't want her to do anything. Is there a reason we didn't ult Jinx there? Um, I think it was just not enough time before I mouse like, I was mashing it on the Jinx, but like, I think the mouse ult came off. Like, I don't know if you can ult mid Q animation, because I've tried to do that before, and like, I don't know if it's just my time is slow or something. You, you definitely had like, half a second to do it. Yeah, yeah, Like, I see that split second where I turned around. Yeah. But I think that was like, I, I thought that she would die, honestly. That's okay. Um, I mean, that's, yeah, that's like, okay. Like, it was close enough, and I didn't see the shield. Or, like, I didn't think that she would live through it. Your main yeah. goal in this play is killing Jinx. It's not killing Soraka. Killing the oh, Soraka really? is... is the thing, the thing with the way that they're lined up is killing the Soraka here is something extra that's going to happen here. And that's why you're flashing for it. Your main target here isn't Soraka, but the reason why you flash here is to guarantee the kill on Soraka too. So it's like, okay. if you go for this play, like, yeah, your WQ is going to kill Soraka every single time here. But if you're WQing through this, I, would, I wouldn't I would be using my Smite on Soraka. I wouldn't be using my Dustblade on, on Soraka. I'd be using all that stuff on Jinx because you're, the extended part of your combo is going to kill Soraka every time. So when I'm okay. doing this play, that, that I did not know, yeah. all I'm doing here, if, I, if I'm you right now, is I'm, I'm thinking of killing Jinx right now. But the way that they're lined up is you're just killing Soraka. Like, you're, you're also killing Soraka. So okay. it's like remembering which target you're actually going for. Like it was just bullshit luck that she lived, of course, right? Like, yeah, it, it is what it is. Yeah, you could have smited her, could have ulted her, but like, you really like when you're going for a play, like, um, you really, really want to think about like your target. Let me um. Uh. Actually. Because there's a couple plays that'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, that was loud as fuck. Oh, this this is actually one right here. Okay, so right here, I'm going for Tristana. Okay. But I line up all my abilities. Or no, maybe maybe I wasn't. I haven't seen this clip in a while. But when I'm going for this play... Okay, this is actually the exact same scenario that's in your clip. Yeah. If I go yeah. for the WQ here, it's going to kill Tristana. But like, my ulti and my smite needs to be on somebody else. This is like, okay, well, when I, this is like back when I first started playing Kane. So, like, my leveling up order is a little bit messed up, and I don't understand my mechanics fully here. But if I'm you seeing go, this play. Um, hmm? You go, sorry, you go, like, uh, what is it? Like, three points in a Q into W into E into the rest in the Q, right? On blue Kane. And then on a red Kane, I go three Q, max W, max Q, max E. Whoa, okay. So, okay. yeah. I've not been doing that on red Kane. It's okay. So. Like, you can see how fast I ulti the Vel'Koz, though. So clearly, like, my thought process here was to kill her. Like, I smited her to make sure she died. But look where my mouse is. Like, my mouse is literally on the Vel'Koz. Yeah. We'll see. Like, I'm already, like, I'm already ready to do this play. Yeah. I would have thought that you had enough damage to kill both, and I would be trying to ult the Sona there. Mm, yeah, maybe. I could see why you'd think that. But, like, there's just... There's a lot of... Uh, let me see if I can find another one. Oh god, this is like when I first played this champ. This is probably so bad, I haven't seen this in so long. Eh, no, that's a bad example. There's very, there's not very many options here, so... It is what it is. But this is a really good play of like, understanding like, okay, if I go for this play, like, who am I killing with my initial combo and who do I have to ult to? Okay. Also, like, it would have been really acceptable for me to smite the, the yeah, to, like, smite the Sona right here. Now, looking back at this, I, I didn't need my smite for this kill, I don't think. 
But if I smited the Sona, I could have... Well, I guess I hit her with my initial combo, too. But, um... Yeah, I mean, if I smited the Velcos there instead of the, the Tristana, then it would have only been Sona left. I would have had to have ulti them. Yeah. But it is what it is, so... Just okay. going into these plays with, like, you know, a thought process of how you want to play them out is really, really important. Alright, I but think if... I actually like a lot of that. I like going in and then figuring out what happens afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just rolling the dice, baby. Nah, but it, oh, it, yeah. It's definitely important to be like, okay, if I kill this guy, like, with this combo, like, it, it's really it's really good with the blue smite, right? Because you can teleport to any spot in the fight that you want with blue smite. Because yeah. you can just blue smite someone, ult them. It's very, very simple. Um, with blue smite, you, or blue cane, you really, really, uh, you can put a lot more thought into how you team fight with this champion. Yeah. Okay, uh, there, here real quick, um, I didn't go for the, like, any damage on the Renekton or whatsoever, right? I just left him alone, and then I went top for the Jinx, who was by herself. Like, realistically, in a good game, she wouldn't be doing that, but, like, I just kind of left because I saw her pushing top, and I thought that she would want to push another wave. Or, like, actually, I didn't even think she would push another wave. I just couldn't hold bot in the first place. Like, I feel like at this stage of the game, Renekton would hurt me so much, because I don't have ulti. Okay. Or I, uh, I yeah, shouldn't have ulti. Yeah, no, I, 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 I get it. I, I can't really say whether it was right or wrong, but I totally understand your thought process. I probably would have walked up and W'd the minions. I probably wouldn't have even went for this Jinx, but... I mean, clearly they died anyway, right? So... It's not really a big deal. Okay. So, the issue I have with this play is if she has flash up, you're kind of fucking yourself. If you WQ like this and she flashes it, she can actually kill you. I think we timed the flash last, fla last fight. Okay, and th okay, that's good. If you're, if you're doing this, though, you don't need anything other than your auto attack and your W to kill her. So going for the Q here is just asking for a disaster to happen. Oh, uh, okay. If you um, just run I up to her... Need everything. If you just auto... No, W, w Q and she's dead. Or W auto and she's dead. Huh. With your dust blade. I'm you, used to using everything, making sure I have the kill. So you're saying there I definitely, like, 10 well, times out of 10, save the Q? Yeah, because if she flashes, you can follow it. Okay. That was weird. Like, I got knocked out of the W, but I know I didn't really aim it correctly in the first place. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I kind of aimed, like, slightly behind the Vi because I thought she would run. But, like, like, or I thought when she collided, it wouldn't be, like, right on top. Like, I don't know if the, it was the Janna Tornado or something. It threw off my perspective. I thought she was, like, lower than she actually was. And then she ulted, and I think that got her out of it. Okay. Uh, it's not really your job here to kill Vi. Um, she's 1v3 right now because your whole team is attacking her. If you can just stop her team from helping her, you're doing more than enough. This Vi is going to die anyway. Like, okay. when she jumps in like this, she's fucking dead. Tristana's going to... So I should go for Soraka... Uh, Soraka Mouse. Here. Yeah, because okay. not only can you fucking one-shot them, but if they can't help Vi, then you're also winning this part of the fight. And they're probably going to kill this guy pretty quick, so the sooner that they kill him, uh, they can help you. But they're not going to be able to damage okay. you because you can combo them and then sit in your ulti, right? So you're not really. Uh, I don't not... know if I have my ult. Okay, right well let's now. just say you did, because I okay. I don't know. I think you probably do. Um, okay. But if you just, I mean, she ends up killing the. Like you ended up doing pretty good damage to him, uh, but I I definitely think that if you just go for the backline here, then they can't help their team or they can't help their vi, and then you just win this play out super hard. Okay. So in these situations, like if someone. If someone engages on me, I should be more worried as Blue Cane about their backline rather than peeling. Uh, yeah, for the most part, but like you, you really want to be a disruptor on Blue Cane. You don't always have to kill everyone. You can open on them with like your W, and then alt early to base, basically say like, okay guys, I'm here. When I come out, I'm gonna one shot you if you guys don't force me or focus me, right? And then okay. it allows your team to be a lot more comfortable in the fight. I don't think I've thought about Wing and then Ring first. I oh yeah, w I do that so much. Like, I, and then like I get interrupted halfway through my queue, and then I just die or something. Off yeah, that. you can't get your ulti off. Yeah, especially yeah. especially you play against champions of silences, and all that crap. It's like very often you can just W and then ulti, and then their whole team has to be like, oh shit, like this guy's gonna come out and kill someone. So, and okay. and it just it allows your team to like play up, and then their team is like really like they're like they're like backing off and they're a clicking because wherever you come out, they want to kill you instantly, right? Yeah. So, yeah, you just got to think of Kane more of, a, like, a disruptor rather than someone who's just killing people. 
It's the same on Red King, too. When you go inside of everyone, they just fucking panic, so... Oh, yeah, and then they line up, you can land that 4 yeah, man W. It's, it's so gross. Shit. I it's love so, that. Yeah, it's so, it's so gross. Okay. But you just gotta try to think of... Yeah, like I said, the way that you're gonna play these fights, you just gotta try to think about it. Okay. And it'll, so here, the, um, more, the more king games you have, the better this will come to you, so... Yeah. So here I just go farm golems, because there's nothing else on the map. Yep. You're kind of just waiting for something to happen at this point. Yeah. And the more you farm, the better, because you're going to get your ghost blood. <sighs> I think here, Cassio was looking for a pick, so he, he actually pinged for this. Mm -hmm. And then he gets flash ulted. I was like, alright. Go for a jinx, but she died too quick, so I back off. Yep. Once this ward sees you, um, it's pretty hard to do anything. Yeah. Especially if this isn't a fight that's gonna last. If this is a fight that's gonna last, then you could have like wall wall walked like through here. But like, if it's like a pick and it's like, okay, the only way this play is gonna work is if it happens instantly. Then then it's like, okay, we're writing this play off. But yeah. if it's like a long extended fight, then like just walk by the ward. Uh, I think we give Varen here. I don't remember. We we might try and fight it. You should definitely try to steal it. I don't think you should fight it. Yeah, yeah, I go for the steal. I think I don't time it. Or... Yeah, like this it was is, this is a, this is a very easy steal for you. Yeah, yeah I, I just need to time the W with the Q and the smite, right? I walk up here because my team starts going in, and then I zone backline here while okay. they deal with Renekton. And then they don't do enough damage, Holy and we're shit. like, alright. Yeah. And then we just get wiped, I'm pretty sure. Should I, should I be trying to go auto, in here? Cause auto, auto like, here, auto here. Like, your oh, Q, that's what I'm saying, this, one, this is what I'm saying, like... People that don't play Kane much use this Q way too much, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. just look at this, look at this. If you auto him, he, you have Dustblade right now. Uh. Like, he's fucking dead. Well, yeah, 300, I'm pretty sure you do at least that much damage. Okay. Yeah, you definitely do. And if not, then you have, well, maybe you don't have Blue Smite, but if, if not, you auto and then Q. But you don't even auto attack here, you just Q. And only half of it hit. Like if if I think someone else did damage here. But if they if they didn't, you're only hitting half your Q, but if you auto and then Q instantly, it's a hundred percent a kill. Like and you probably don't even have to Q here, honestly. I think an auto attack would have done the trick. Okay. But you I really... think it's cause I invest auto Q like or I try to auto, I don't auto, I Q and then W there because I don't know like damage well enough. I guess in that situation I panic and I wanna like make sure he's dead so I use up all my abilities. Okay, but your, your yeah, auto can... does, like, more damage than half your Q does. Okay. So, your auto with Dustblade is a huge portion of your damage. Was your W really not up here? Oh, I used it when the Renekton was there. That's what I mean by, like, wasting abilities. Like, as Renekton's dying, I W him. Yeah, if I had it up here, I think I could have killed her. And you still like do kill I don't you? there and then I R. Oh, dude. Uh, so w yeah. whenever you come out of your ulti like this, I don't think it would have mattered in this scenario. But you just want to try to auto attack because you reset your dust blade with your ulti. Yeah, I tried to auto. Like I was a clicking there. Yeah, it was. Like... It was. She went out the opposite way. That you. It was just bad timing. Yeah, I I, like I didn't you, want to go you... up because I was scared that like Malzahar or like Soraka would do something. But, right, like, but I guess but they that's were distracted. but that's the way she's gonna run. So that's why you have to go out. Yeah. So always go in the direction that they're running, I guess? Yeah, because, well, it depends, like, what side you want to end up on to, like, line up your W, stuff like that. But in a scenario like this, where you have to kill her with an auto-attack as soon as you come out, you just got to make sure you get it. So if you would have came out above her, she would have walked into it, taking your auto to the face. Okay. But, like, yeah, a lot of the time on blue cane, it's really good to, like, or even red cane, to line them up. Like, you, you want to sit inside of them. And, like, they're going to all group up, and then you want to, like, okay, I'm going to come out this way, and then just line them up, right? And just get, like, a yeah, few down. because yeah. I think I could have killed both of them if Soraka ran near her. Yeah, probably. Or it would have been close. Yeah. What and then the cast just straight ints, yeah. I don't, I don't really know. Okay. You're not wrong, that was a fucking end. Okay. Got our ghost blade. We don't really need to farm right now, cause we're so far away from our next item. It's not even funny. So we should look topside. Like look yeah, for a we bit. should be looking for plays right now. 
Okay. You just hit your power spike. Getting farm right now doesn't really do much. I mean, unless you want to shove in the spot wave, but... Like, I think I'm, like... like farming Gromp here doesn't do anything. Yeah. And then... Okay, but even, like, going for... Like, your team is all top side. If you ran yeah. top here, you would have just got a free Baron. Oh, we you do get, get Baron. Baron. Yeah. Okay, but you should have been up here for it. Okay. These plays would... These picks would have been a lot easier to get. Yeah, I have a lot of issues with like trying to pick up farm when I don't really need it versus not picking this up is farm one, this when is I really, a, this really need a, This is a massive mistake that wasn't punished. Okay. Because if you're if these guys if either of these two would have slipped away, it would have been hundred percent your fault for not being there. Because you have okay. Mobies, you have Ghost Blade, you could have ripped right through this jungle. Because you farmed your right. Gromp, and then they were they were just getting the kill. So that means if you walk straight over here, you would have been part of them. Okay. So it's just it's just thinking about okay, like what do you get out of clearing your bot side here? Nothing really. Literally nothing. Yeah, I guess this late in the game, it doesn't. It literally doesn't matter. Unless like you're gonna cap a level or something. I mean, that's kind of how you yeah. always have to think of it. Oh, like even early game. Usually, well, not on like... the first clear. Not on the first clear. The second well, clear, yeah, really. Not, not like first clear. Yeah, second but... clear already. Uh, I'm prioritizing plays over like. Yeah. Clearing my camps. Well, it depends on your champion, and it depends on, depends on how close you are to certain things. Like it's just it's super judgmental. Okay. But you really do need to look for what am I going to get versus what could I get. Yeah. Like, okay, we could have uh, got... Like, cause if you go for this play, you got to be thinking, okay, I get a double kill and I get Baron right here. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't think they would go into my jungle, I think. Yeah, the yeah, I, I, I can... Yeah, totally, I understand that. But even if you don't, we even were... if you don't think they're going to do that, you literally gain nothing by clearing your bot there. Okay. I, I don't know why we're going bot here. Uh, I just recalled, and then we were coming out of base. We were saying we want either bot or mid, because top was like you're not in a position to go for bot tower, Baron. Or, well, I guess well since Baron's down, but I would say you could have you could have Urgot splitting, and then you guys should just go mid if you're gonna do anything. Uh, Cassio just ran bot on her own, okay. and like it was too late. Uh, we got our flash there, which is kind of free. So Okay. So what you could do here, I don't know if you have your smite up. I think you do. But if I you, don't. If you don't. just, how do you know that? Uh, because I I remember I I tried to smite and it didn't go through. Okay. Otherwise I would have smite ulted and then waited for the flash. Okay. Well I don't like that. I think you, what you do here is you smite, walk up auto attacker, and then when she flashes you follow with WQ. Okay. Because if you get your W off you slow her, or you fucking legit burst her for a billion damage. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, you, if she flashes, you can just easily fall with the WQ. Okay. It's kind of like when you have Dust Blade, it's like playing Kha'Zix with his passive. You just really, okay. really need to get that first auto off. I I just like... I, I, I don't know why. I feel like Kane does more damage with his abilities, so I don't really tunnel on using my autos that yeah, well. Yeah, you really need to. Alright. I, I know for sure I didn't have Smite there, though, because I would have played okay. that very differently if I did. Sure. I think I might have gone for your play because I was moving so fast that it would have literally been on top of her. Right here, like I'm starting to move up just the zone a bit, but I see yep. the buy. I know if I go in, I die. You just want to like, fish for W's. Too. You just want to fish for W's here. Yeah. So like even on buy. So should I just throw a W there, like even on, them even on buy? There? Well, you could have W to buy. Yeah, yeah. Like just in general, I yeah. should be going because um it, it makes me nervous sometimes because I don't know if you ran into like I I actually don't even know if it's a bug, but there's this like sometimes where if I W someone and they have like uh, some reflective damage on them that I. Actually, I guess it's not a bug if I say it this way, but, like, I'll, I'll just pop out of the wall immediately. And, like, it happened to me, like, more than once. Which is... But I don't think it's a bug. It might just be me stepping too close to the outside of the wall. But, like, I, I get scared here because, like, I was like... If, well, I know if I get take damage from Vi, for sure, I'll come out of the wall in, like, that brief period of time, right? But, yeah. like, it's happened to me before where that yellow orb shows up on the right side and I'll pop out of the left. And I don't know if that's because I moved back towards it just a bit. Like, is that what it is? I'm, I've never experienced it, so... Okay, then it's probably just me misclicking. Yeah, if I've never experienced it, it's probably, like, just user error, then. I don't know. Yeah. But you definitely could have hit a W on Vi there, which does a f pretty good amount of damage right now. Alright. But this is good. You do want to zone with your E. But fishing for your W's is really important. You have full mana right now. You have no reason not to be. Alright. Okay, we should just be bot right now. Yeah. This wave's pushing. This wave's pushing, but you guys have Baron. Okay, so you guys have Baron here, which means if they were to push this wave out, 
Like, you could go one hit this fucking bot tower, and then your team, you could just reset. Because you don't want them to clear, clear this tower. But if you have Baron Recalls, they can't push, right? So you guys yeah, that's what I wanted, but like my entire team straight up recalled, and I got really confused. Like, I was heading up back towards mid to start like moving in for a potential flank or like just to be near mid. But then like I thought we would keep one person bot to push the turret, and then everyone else recall. Okay, yeah, and, like I just you should have really confused. With you should have taken this and taken the turret. Okay. If they would have kept pushing mid here, you can recall whenever the fuck you want because you're Baron. Okay. But your goals right now are what? Uh, I wanted Edge of Night just for that, like, to block okay. the Malzahar. And what I else? thought about GA, but I backed on the uh, 900 gold. Okay, what else? Like, What's uh, your other gold? Uh, I, I couldn't really think of anything. Level 16. Here. Oh, level 16. Okay, so... Oh, oh like a goal in general. Okay. A goal, yeah. Your goals are yeah. to complete your next item. You know, hit a certain item spike, hit your forearm, you know, stuff like that. So if you push bot here, you're accomplishing your... You're completing one of your goals, and you're helping your team out by giving them global gold. Okay. Plus, if your team needs your help, you can recall whenever the fuck you want your Baron. Okay. Okay. And if th that's the thing. If they see you bot, maybe they'll play aggressive here, and you have Baron. You want to fight them right now, right? Yeah. So they might play aggressive because they see you bot. You can instantly recall, and you can just completely walk through this wall with Thumb Guards. With Ghost Blade Speed, like, you can rip through that wall. So it's like, if they okay. overextend for a play, they just lose at this point. But we definitely... I think it was also partly, I, I thought about their team comp, and like, they get picks very easily. Like, it just like, flash Malzahar or something. Mm -hmm. So I was like, a bit worried about leaving my team alone. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to fight here, because your team's pushing. Yeah. And then we I like this, this is good. This yeah. is good to base race them here. You have Baron and you have Tristana, like, you guys are, you guys are totally okay here. Yeah, and then they recall, they, they like, give up. Okay, just go bot here. Uh, my team wanted to keep going. Okay, well, I don't, I, I, go, don't see you, I, I, don't, I don't see you pinging them back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, in general, I should be making the call to, like, leave and go bot? Okay, well, if, we if, they're, if they're hard stuck and you're not, then who should be making the calls? True. Okay. If they're going to rot in this elo forever and you're going to climb, then who needs to be making the calls? Like, you're not going to climb by listening to them. Yeah. Obviously, there's some Wait, scenarios so where listening to your teammates or following their calls is a good idea. But you need to understand when, you know, going for bot here is better. I'm glad you guys got this tower and everything, but that was pretty risky. Okay. I, I, I went for the play because I, th like, well, they were already there, and also I thought that we could get the tower, too. Okay. Um, Is that, like, if you looked at it again, would you say that that was, like, a 50-50? Like, maybe yeah, we wouldn't it's have done that Yeah, it was a 50-50. It was a dead 50 50 Okay. Because we don't know when they were recalling. We don't know their exact recall timers or anything oh, like we, that. Oh, we saw that. We saw it. They recalled in front of our turret. Okay. All of them? I thought some of them were in the bush. I think, like, Jinx was further back or something, but we saw we saw them, like, like right here. We don't see we don't see Renekton. We don't see this guy. We don't see this guy. We literally okay. don't see any of the recalls. I so, thought that, like, we could just siege with Baron. For all we know, like, they're all recalled right now. And we haven't even touched the tower yet. Okay, I see. Like, this is... You're telling me this isn't close? Like, this tower's full HP and there's two people spawning. Why is ulti? Yeah. And Cassia's not with us, too. Okay. This was a huge 50-50. Renekton could have engaged this fight. And used his ulti to stall out. I think Renekton just misplayed. I think he should have just went in. And use his ultimate, and then if Strako was coming, she could have healed him. I think they just pushed it out a little bit there, or they were just saying, you know what, we'll just give him the tower because we're not going to lose the game off one tower. Okay. Okay. No, we're sitting on too much gold right now to, to to go for this fight. Everyone, we just did a big team play. We got two towers. We're all sitting on gold right now, and they just recalled, so they're not. All right, so in this case, we should go bot. Just fucking recall. And clear no, the wave just recall. Just recall. Yeah. Okay. There's, this wave's gonna pull, or this wave's gonna push into you. This wave's pushing into you. Okay. So we're just gonna recall here and clear them. Going for this fight is the worst thing you could ever do. Okay. I pick off the Vi just because she's like on the side, and I was eating through walls mm -hmm. looking for like a pick. Oh, yeah, nice. We got lucky though. It was good. Yeah. So I think we just push it off that, and then we get the. Inhibit. All you should be doing in a scenario like this is just sitting with your team and fishing Ws. All sitting right. off to the side here isn't good, um, because if they go on you, you don't have your ulti to get out. But if you're just with your team, you can prevent them from engaging because we have more numbers with our team, plus we can just fish with Ws. Okay. 
So it's it's right not to look for a flank here, just like if you if if you have your ultimate, you totally can. But if you don't, just sit here and use Ws. Your only job here okay. isn't to get kills. Your only job here is to get inhibitor. Okay. So if you're with your team, if you're down here, your team isn't as confident as if you're right here. Because okay, they, they can sense. they can actually see you with them, right? They don't know what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this uh, is right really here, good. my team's resetting, and I'm just taking off wolves. That's okay. Uh, and then I greed a little bit. I, I go for Gromp. Um, I don't die, but, like, like I see the Malzahar there, and I know that he's going to want to back off. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I don't go for Gromp. Okay. Uh, that's Let's fine. Win. I, I don't remember what I was... I think I was going for Edge of Night, and then I realized I wouldn't get close. Like, but Yeah, I just, just recall and buy your Dirk. Map. Recall and buy your Dirk right yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think I pick up a red pot too because I thought the next fight would be the last one. That's that's good. Given given how it's been going. Yep, that's the good mindset to have. Uh, I clear mid just because we want the prio. Um, yeah, we're just waiting for stuff to spawn. Yeah. Ergot splitting bot. We're waiting on Cassio to come top. Uh, Tristana wants to get red. Uh, yep. You're hugging towards the side that you have more members on, which is good. Yeah. This is bad. We I'm like fishing there's, here. There's, yeah, there's yeah. absolutely nothing to gain by doing this. Even if you were to make a pick okay. right now, your team isn't in a position to get anything out of it. Maybe a tier 1 tower, whereas if you die here, you're going to lose complete control over Baron or Infernal Dragon. This okay. is a scenario where the risk just does not outweigh the reward at all. Alright. Because if Malzahar is flashed, you're always in a position to die. Okay. I think he does have flash here. Maybe. He didn't use it last fight. Okay. Okay, so we just, uh, we're just walking over to Infernal, waiting for Tristan to get back on the map. Yeah. Yeah, this is okay. We're just wasting time. We're wasting time for Infernal to spawn. Yeah, walk through mid and shove up mid again. And then go join your team in the jungle. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is, everything's okay here. Uh, we have good vision in their bot side, so I was pretty sure this Infernal is free. It is. Okay. They should know uh, that you're I... in this area of the map, so going for crazy plays here isn't really worth it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just further denying jungle is way better here. And uh, you and you want to be in I, position. I, think I saw two mid, so I was pushing up a bit inside there, like onto lane, because we wanted this turret. Or at least my team was starting to posture around. So are you saying right here I should have back pinged and said only go for drag, yep. or should we start? Yep. Okay. You guys are you guys just made a nice little comeback play, but you're in no you're not winning right now. So Okay. Um you definitely want to take what you can I get. The, the, reason, here. the reason why going for dragon here is so good is because this the, the infernal dragon will make you win this game. Like you guys okay. are so strong and all of your champions can make use of infernal really well. Aside from like maybe Urgot. But like Kane, Cassio, and Trist use it very, very, very well. And then they also have, like, monster champions like Renekton and Jinx who use it extremely well, too. So, okay. Infernal Dragon is super high priority here. And uh, I think I, I just went in just to fish out the Jinx. Like, I, I knew she had Flash because she didn't use it for the last five minutes, we would have seen. Right, but the um, thing is, is, we had the perfect setup on Dragon, and now we just kind of don't. Because okay. they, they were all back here. They were all fucking around over here. But when we walk up to this turret for 100 fucking damage, we're just giving them position on Dragon. Okay. I, I still thought it was free, which is why I went for it. Yeah, but it's just it's just giving them a chance to like possibly contest it that you don't want. Okay. It was 100% free, and doing that gives them the slightest bit of, the slightest chance. It's just not worth it. Alright. Unless there's like a pretty good chance that you're gonna get a kill on Jinx, but like like you said. There was a good chance, but I was I, I did I thought she had flash, but I still went for it and I did burn her flash. Okay. I think that's a play that like ended up working out so it was good, but if it didn't work out it would have been terrible. Yeah, hindsight. Because if you lose that dragon you lose the game. Okay. Your next objective is Baron. I don't know what we're doing here. Mid's pushing in. All we have to do right now is make the call just to do Baron. This tier okay, two bot isn't fucking gonna do anything for you, right? In the in the long long yeah. like all it's gonna do is give you gold. Um, you have all these towers top you can go to, and you're gonna be playing towards top side anyway because Baron's spawning. Okay, so right here, tell you my guys should just either Baron. reset, either reset out. I mean, we're sitting on decent gold here. Either reset out, um, or just walk straight to Dragon. Your mid's pushing in hard okay. too. If you're gonna do this play, it's okay, but you're not playing aggressive here. All you're doing is waiting for your mid to push and then waiting for one of them to go to mid. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. Okay, we don't good. Dive or anything. Cool. Same thing. Just e into this wall and fish for Ws. Yeah, uh, I didn't go there because I was scared that there was a ward like right over that wall. 
Okay. Can I go here as the minion wave crashes. This is what I'm I... talking. This is good. This is very good. I just need a. I can W in walls, right? And yep. It won't... Yep. Even if I hit someone, it doesn't like break my walls or nope. anything. Okay. It's only if you take damage. Oh, what are you doing, Cass? <sighs> yeah, I should flash ours. Like, a lot. You know... Yep. Yeah. Cool. Reset new Baron. Yeah. Cool. Jenna Ard too. Yep. That was weird. Okay, so all we do is we clear out Baron vision, and then we and then we search. We also have top shoving. Yeah. So we're just playing towards top side and Baron. And we just let our mid shove. That's all we gotta do. Okay, nice. I think this is where a throw happens. So Janna gets caught, and right here, um, I saw the Janna get caught, and then I go in off that. But then we're not on the same page because I I didn't realize Cassio used her ult, like bot lane. I I wasn't even paying attention to her. Mm -hmm. I I saw the Janna ult. I didn't see the Cassio ult. So I was like, okay, this is this seems pretty good because they're all tunneled, right? They're like clumped up, AOE onto this, but then Locket like denies everything, and then Soraka R denies the rest. Like I saw the Casio W come down. I saw the a like the chance to go for that. Well, we just AOE. missed. We missed our W. That was the main reason why that play didn't work. Oh, I missed the W on Jinx. Yeah, yeah, was a, yeah. I mean, they did have a lot of shields, and it would have been better if they had more cooldowns. But I think he actually dies here if you would have hit your W initially. Oh really? I didn't. I didn't think I missed it. Whoops. Yeah, we missed it on two of them. It was really close, and this isn't the type of thing that I'm gonna harp on you for, but we definitely. Oh my god. It was That's it was it was very close to being really really good. Yeah, I should That's just angling down, I guess. I was wondering cuz like I was like I'm not doing any damage during this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes more That's sense. That's fine. That's fine. Unlucky. Yeah, we would have killed Jinx here. And then people would have been able to Trish would have got a reset something. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. If Cass yeah, had ult, it would have been a different fight too. So. Yeah. Yep. So we just we just lose the game off this or what? Yeah, pretty much. Like they Baron and then I th I have another throw. So. Ooh. Well, at this point, so, like, was at my this decision point... to go in there correct or not? Yeah. Like. Yep. yep. The, the decision was right. Okay. They were clumped. Right. Hardly ever are they ever gonna be that clumped up ever. Yeah. It's yeah, just that's... mechanically I missed. Yeah, okay. that's okay. Um, I run up here because Malzar was pushing the wave. I was hoping I could maybe like get a light pick on him. I had Edge of Night. Okay. So the everything. reason why going top here is good, not because Malz is here, but because they're inevitably just gonna push minus five, and you just want all your lanes to be shoving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I didn't want them to crash the Baron and then rotate over. So. Okay. So here we're just fucking praying to God, and we do have to go for a play here. So you said yeah. you kind of throw here. I hope that you're making a proactive play. Yeah, 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 it's a proactive play. Okay, that's good then, because you're going to lose this fucking game if you don't. Because I, I I, saw Cassio had R, mm -hmm. and I was like, alright, this time for sure she's going to ult. Surely she has ult, yeah. Yeah. This is unfortunate too. Sweeper just missed that ward, but I don't think it, that's the reason. Um, The angle I took on this play was a bit like weird. Like It was too much to the front, I think. It wasn't enough of a flank. Okay. But like... I also saw Jinx at GA, but I was like, yeah, we kind of have to go or else we lose. So I prep Edge of Night, Yomu's. I go in, because Janna landed a nice tornado, and I just get instantly Mal's art, and I just die. Was I, should I have, like, waited a bit longer for that? Or, because I guess Cassio wasn't really in position to R, but, like, I thought that maybe if, like... Okay, well, Cassio is sitting back here. She's fucking trolling. Yeah, I, I was pinging, like, go in, go in much earlier, too. And, yeah, because like, they're, when they, when they're sitting, like, here, it's good because they want to commit to this tower. Yeah. So when this the lower this tower goes, the more they want to get it, right? Yeah. So if we wait till it's a little bit low, like Janna hit a fucking good NATO right there. Yeah, I, I saw the NATO. I was like, all right, we're pulling the trigger here, because I thought that they would they might consider moving back up, right, to like finish off the yeah. turret. So I go for the W, but then the the Malzahar, uh, my uh, Edge of Night straight up gets canceled by Malzahar R or uh, Malzahar Q. Yeah. And then I just get R'd and I die, mm -hmm. which is really unfortunate. No, I think this play. I think you played fine. I think your teammates fucked up really bad. Hmm. It's 
like I'm they they just reacted really well to you, honestly. Like I yeah. think like there's a good chance that they don't even see you here and they walk back up to the tower, but they all backed off. They all just backed off, so yeah. Um, I think it was also unlucky because they they might have been reacting to the Janna tornado because I'm pretty sure that wasn't to me because like yeah that's what I'm thinking like war, it's very hard like, to like yeah let me if see if you look at it from their perspective it actually like uh it, it's like blue it straight up doesn't look like I'm there at all I don't I don't think they see me off this the the ward either sure. Oh, okay, so that's so unlucky. Uh, oh yeah, God. that's 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 very unlucky. How did that give vision of that spot? Was it the Malzahar, like, being up? I didn't think they had vision of, like, even... Like, I thought that their vision would stop where that rock is on the ground. Like, that weird rock imprint. Right here? Like, halfway through. Like, halfway through that. Like, at the point where it's widest. So that's why I walk out just a bit towards this angle instead of down. I also knew that my Duskblade popped here earlier, and I wasn't sure where the ward was, yeah, so I assumed that it was... Over here? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I, I was like... I was pretty sure that the vision wouldn't go that far. That That's what they reacted to, I guess. And then Malzar Q pops my... Like, that's so unlucky. He timed that really well, too. Yeah, yeah. I think there was a mix R's of... Nothing. I think there was a mixture of, of things here. I think your team could have played up more. Um, I think your patience there was fine in terms of waiting for them to commit to something. You waited for the the Janna queue, and you, you saw a visual queue went to go in, which is which was great. Um, I think also, like I said, waiting for the tower as soon as the tower gets low, start spamming to go in, because I don't really think I see you pinging too much here. Do you? I ping a lot, like right before I'm going in, or not right before, but like five to ten seconds before, like forty three seconds. What is it? Yeah, like I'm I'm pinging like that entire time. Let me see. Or am I? I thought I was. I don't think so. Oh. Like, you need to tell your team what you're doing. And I, this play uh, isn't, I don't, like I said, I don't really think this play is your fault. But, but I like, still tell when them they're that. hitting this tower, like, as soon as they're right here, it starts on my way, on my way, on my way, on my way. Like, you have to fucking tell them, yo, I'm doing this. Okay. You pinged one time on your way on the tower. Yeah. Like, no okay. one's even fucking saw that. So, that's fine. I, I like the, the attempt. I think it was good. I think the thought process was okay. But, they just didn't end up working out. And then okay. you guys just get wiped and lose the game? Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I think we like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got wiped. It was like... It, it was, yeah, we're just done. Okay. Um, I think in general, I think the game is pretty good. I think you just need to, you know, play more games on Kane. Um, yeah. Try to worry more about the little things than the big things. Like, okay, you just accomplish. Like, I, I tell this to a lot of people. Um, set mini goals for yourself in the games. Whether it's hitting certain spikes in items, or hitting your form, or hitting, um, like, uh, levels and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just need to always make sure that you're asking yourself, okay, like, what should I be doing? And just trying to react to that the best way possible. I think, like, a lot of your issues in that game, um, well, not a lot of them, but some of them were mechanics, so it's just, it's purely just lack of knowledge of the champion, which is not, that is the easiest thing to fix, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The hard things to fix are knowing when you should recall, when you should go to this place, when you should go to that place, stuff like that. Um, I think your, your thought process, like, I think you're a really smart guy, I think, like, you know, going into these games, you have, like, a decent knowledge of, like, what you should be doing. It's just finding the most efficient way to do these things. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah. have an idea of what you should be doing. You just aren't doing it the most efficient way possible. And I don't know if it's, like, a lack of games just in general or or what it may be. Because, um, I mean, you seem to play a decent amount. But I think if, you know, this That's season... That's only recently. Like, this... I, I'm just starting to kick it into gear. Okay. Like, I know one of the things that my team told me is I need to play more solo queue. So you do, like, because yeah. then you will you will figure out how to do these things better. So you really just okay. need to um, play the game more, you know, put more time on these champions, and it'll it'll definitely come to you because you're definitely a smart person. So I can just by the way that I'm by the way that you're talking to me in these games, it's more than any of these other people that I've coached has talked to me. So definitely right. definitely awesome. keep definitely keep. Um, being, just keep being proactive. Like when you when you die being proactive, at least you fucking try doing it instead of not doing it, right? 
Yeah. So, like I said, it's easier and to I... teach an aggressive player to be passive than it is to teach a passive player to be aggressive, so. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, so, for, like, ma macro-wise, would you say, like, I need to work on recall timers the most? Yeah. Or... And, like, yeah, pathing okay. towards, like, recalling and, like, setting ourselves up to end on the side that you want to be on. Okay, so, like, if I if I have all my camps up, uh, I should look to start on the side that is furthest away from the play that I'm looking to make? Yep. Or, like, okay. Well, it, it depends. Like, oh, do I only need two camps? Like, say you're level five, right? And yep. you're going to gank bot. And you're two camps away from hitting level six. Like, you don't just greet out and go golems and then clear all the way down. Yeah, yeah, I you should just go. You just go wolves, wolves, wolves grunt bot. Like, okay. you know, it's just, obviously, like, oh, man, like, if the play doesn't work, like, oh, shit, like, I wish I could have farmed, but, like, um, you gotta trust you your team. You gotta trust your team more, and, yeah, you wanna be as fast as possible, like, boom, you hit an early six, you instantly use your ultimate, right? Like, people aren't expecting that shit. They're balling instantly gonna be level four, level five, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So the longer you wait, the worse it gets, basically, in those scenarios. Okay. Yeah, I mean... It's all like pretty straightforward, like when you're like not in the game. But the best yeah, thing you can, it, yeah, right. the best thing you can do in the game is like, yeah, that, that's why I tell so many people just set up goals for yourself, and it's very, very easy to always be doing efficient things when you do that. Because every right. everything kind of works out when you have like mini checklists in the game. Okay, so so you're saying my checklist should be like item spikes and level spikes, mm -hmm. followed by um, pathing towards what I want to do. Yep. And in general, recalling off, like, spikes rather than when is, like... When there's, like, nothing else to do. Yeah. Okay. Because it's kind of like... Like I said, that one time where you, you cleared, like... You cleared your wolves and your gromp when you just didn't fucking have to. Like, you had your dust blade off yeah. golems. Like, you know, you just... It, okay. And that could have just been autopiloting. Because the longer you wait to recall, the more often you're going to get in a scenario where you have to respond to a play with all your gold in your pocket. Okay. And when that happens is when bad shit starts happening. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that like, makes sense. Yeah, so I, I guess like I, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of recalling right after I like come out and then take like one or two camps. I always feel like I want to do something mm -hmm. off each. So you're saying like sometimes it's worth to like literally come out of base, take two camps, and back for that item. It can be, and especially when you're playing Kane because you have Mobius and you can just rip through the walls with your E, so you don't miss too much time on it. Um... But if it, if it's really, it's not like you want to like go out go out of base and then go kill one camp and then recall. Then in that yeah. scenario, yeah, you probably should have just taken another camp. Um, yeah. But like you know, say all your camps are down and you know your camps aren't going to spawn anyway. I mean, you might as well. Okay. So it, it's it's really like judge judgment based. Like I can't give you one answer that'll fit all. So that's just something that you'll have to understand when you're playing the game yourself. Awesome. Yeah. So. Uh, I know you said you have to like go soonish, but do you want to do like the live game like tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, yeah, sounds good. Tomorrow's pretty good. You said before what time? Uh, probably around five. What time is it where you are? Uh, it's six thirty. I'm EST. Okay, I'll be I'll be on then. Okay. Uh, around five. Yeah, five seems good. Okay, just send me a message right, like you. an hour or so before if you see that I'm streaming. Be like, yo. Okay. Yeah. For sure. All right, man. And uh, yeah, that should be pretty much it. If you uh, if you have any more questions.